Hello again, friends. I'm here with an in-depth review of Unicorn Overlord, a game developed by Vanillaware and available on all consoles. Ready to fight. After playing for two weeks and about 66 hours on my save file, my impressions are overwhelmingly positive. The gameplay loop, the story, the world, and the military campaign are all seamlessly integrated into a well-crafted package. This review will be relatively spoiler-free, with the majority of the footage coming from the opening segments of the game. Bottom line up front, the graphics, art style, and the visuals are stunning. The world feels deliberately handcrafted with love and care. Vanillaware truly maximizes its 2D canvas. The game's diverse cast of characters is another highlight with knights on horseback fighting alongside angels, elves, and even a variety of animal-like humanoids called bestials. Focus your mind. What really sells this game to me are the gameplay mechanics and the core of its tactical gameplay. Uniquely, you do not make individual decisions during combat. When your squad meets up with enemy squads on the battlefield, they follow a basic tactical plan that has to be set up beforehand. Each ability is executed in priority order with a handful of potential conditionals you can set on them. This tactics AI that drives the game forward becomes increasingly more involved and necessary as the game progresses. While it's mostly ignorable in the early game, as you get farther away from the beginning, it becomes much more difficult to progress without taking some extra time to better plan and organize your squads. For example, when I first started, I was organizing squads and characters based on their interpersonal relationships. I had placed Lex with Chloe and Elaine with Scarlet, and each of them provided each other a bit of synergy that carried me a couple dozen hours. However, as I started to move through Elheim, the second continent in the main story, Lex and Chloe's squad were clearly lagging behind the power curve. I made one to two adjustments at a time, and by the end of the game, Chloe had been pulled out of the roster entirely, and Lex was kitted out as a supportive tank, enabling the rest of the squad instead of being the primary damage dealer himself. The story of Unicorn Overlord is simple and easy to follow for most of the game. Your mother, the Queen of Cornea, is overthrown during a military coup, and the rest of the world is swiftly conquered by the game's main antagonist, Galerius, and the Zenorian Empire. After about 10 years, you return to Cornea and begin a campaign to reclaim all of Feverith. As I mentioned in my initial impressions video, the story is told through a perspective of an evolving military campaign, and feels like a really grounded way to tell the story. You can physically see your story and campaign progress on the map as you push through enemy territory and liberate towns and countries. In addition to the main story, you'll find plenty of side content that does an excellent job of blending in with the world's narrative. Side quests and liberation quests, while not specifically part of the main scenario, do provide recruitable allies, resources, and physical space on the map for you to explore. And while they might not be as vitally interesting to the story as the main quest, they never seem to take away from the experience in the way that some games do. Some of these quests also provide meaningful choices, allowing you to recruit, imprison, or even execute many of the enemy commanders. These decisions can also have additional unknown impacts later in the story, with optional allies opening up additional dialogues, missions, and opportunities to interact with the world. Regarding challenge and difficulty in Unicorn Overlord, there are four initial difficulties, with the fifth unlocking after you beat the game. This not only adds to replayability, but allows for complexity that requires deeper strategic thinking. I personally played the game on tactical difficulty. I wanted a challenge that made me think through my tactics and formations without making the game too difficult for me to finish in a timely manner. Given that criteria, after playing the game, I think I made the right choice for myself. Expert difficulty should serve as a great option for those wanting to truly explore the game's tactical depth, and for those wishing to focus on story, both story and normal modes are recommended options. Though you don't have too much to worry about, as all these options can be changed at any time in the options menu. On top of that, outside of the fifth difficulty mode, true Zenorian mode, most missions can be beat with simple tactics as long as you're willing to do a bit of grinding and squad optimization. Even failing that, consumable items can provide a lot of additional support in battle if you find yourself in a difficult situation. Unicorn Overlord offers exceptional replay value. 
on a fundamental level, you can replay the game at higher difficulties, and you can also opt to make different decisions and recruit different allies to explore their impacts on the game. You could also decide to spend your time engaging with the game's PvP system, a coliseum where you can pit your squads against the squads registered by other players. This is actually the only way to unlock some of the game's best equipment, and even has an offline version if you're looking for some of the toughest fights in the game. Finally, after you beat the game, you'll be given the option to easily marry a different companion and then refight the final fight as a method of more easily viewing the additional endings. Then again, there is always YouTube. I give Unicorn Overlord a 9 out of 10 for delivering a compelling tactical RPG with stunning visuals, deep gameplay mechanics, and a well-integrated story told through the lens of an evolving military campaign. While the game's difficulty can be adjusted to cater towards both casual and hardcore players, the meticulous planning and strategic depth offers a very rewarding experience. With multiple endings and replay value, Unicorn Overlord is a game that will keep players engaged and coming back for more, making it a worthy addition to any tactical RPGs enthusiast collection. If you like this review and want to see more like it, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. It really helps out the channel. I also stream on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon Eastern every week.